What's up guys? Welcome to the Flow T Cast. My name is Steven Maxlow. Today's video we are going to be looking at one of the many, many renditions of this archetype. It is Lost Box. We're going to be looking at Jacob I's top eight Arlington performance because it was the best performing one. But most importantly, it has uh my boy amazing rare Rayquaza. Can't be sleeping on this dude. It's super cool that in this format you get to use these amazing rare cards because they've been sitting there in your uh, bulk pile, or if you thought they were going to be worth millions in the future, graded, I guess. I don't I don't know. They've just been sitting around and not getting any love, and it's it's awesome to see that. Now we've seen Amazing Rare Raikou show up. We've seen Amazing Rare Evil Tall show up, the best one, obviously. And then now we get to see Amazing Rare Rayquaza, and we'll talk about him more in a minute. If you think he's dope and you think the Floaty Cast is dope, go ahead and like this video. Subscribe to the Flow Tcast as always and turn that bell on so you know when my videos go live for you. I'm going to be firing up the Twitch stream at eventually, um, so hear about that. Link in the description below. But without further ado, let's get started. Comfy. This card has been out for like four months or so now. I guess it came out in like August, September time in 2022. Now it's 2023, whatever. Um, been meaning to talk about this card, but hey, you know what? We're here. So, and say hi to my daughter. Uh, flower selecting is a super awesome ability because it lets you funnel through your deck, right? Um, but it also gives it some difficulty, right? Because it has that ability, flower selecting once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in the active spot, look at the top two cards of your deck and put one into your hand, put the other in the Lost Zone, which is huge and very important and why this thing is called Lost Box. Um, so you can funnel through your deck but you need to be careful because like resource managing in this in this deck is crucial, honestly. You could be in a situation where you have a switch card you need and an energy, and if you pick wrong, that could cost you the game. So you have to be very careful about that. Um, and what's cool about Lost Zone is that there's Pokemon in this deck that need cards in the Lost Zone to activate itself, and that is Cramorant is one of them. Lost provisions. If you have four or more cards in the Lost Zone, you can attack for free. You ignore all energy in this Pokemon's attack cost. So you get to do Spit Innocently turn one for 110. And if they have a basic Pokemon that, you know, doesn't have 110 HP, you just do 110. That's fun. Uh, you can't use it for weakness or anything, but that's okay because 110 is really good. It applies pressure. And that's what this deck needs. It's just more pressure. We also have Sableye here that if you have 10 or more cards in the Lost Zone, you can put 10, 12 damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon in any way you like. That's pretty good. You can take multiple knockouts, set up for multiple knockouts, and all sorts of shenanigans. Sableye is an incredible card in this deck, obviously. It's a Lost Zone package. You gotta play it. And speaking of Lost Zone things, we also have Colrus's Experiment. We have to talk about the supporter because I told you you can funnel, switch out with um, Comfy. But you can also accelerate that process with Colrus's Experiment because you can look at t the top five cards of your deck, put three of them into your hand, and then the others in the Lost Zone. So you get three good cards and then, like, put two, two away. I mean, sometimes you can have five really good cards, but, like, I, that's the life we choose when we play the Lost Zone box. So, those 7, 8, or 11 cards are imperative to Lost Zone. And also, we gotta mention Mirage Gate too. Because if you have 7 or more cards in your Lost Zone, you can uh, search your deck for 2 basic energy cards of different types and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. I played this with Giratina back in Nam, aka Peoria Regionals. I didn't do so hot, but... I really, I really like the Lost Zone uh, mechanic. It's good. So now that we've talked about the Lost Zone business, we need to talk about some of the attackers that we put in here. And one of them is, I mentioned earlier, Amazing Rare Rayquaza because Mirage Gate, right? You look at this energy attack and you're like, or energy cost for this attack, you're like, oh my God, Grass, Lightning, and Fighting type? You're never powering that up. But with Mirage Gate, you can obviously just search out two of those pieces and then attach something else and do 240. That's pretty good. I mean, you could even double Mirage Gate and do 320. You can one-shot VMAXs with just a single-prize Pokemon 
and that's really really good <laughs> like that's insane and of course it's amazing rare requaza this card looks sick so uh yeah we also have another beat stick that's not amazing rare requaza we have snorlax for three colorless energy it does 180 on a single prize pokemon i don't think we play choice belt here no but if we did that would be sick and then of course our lightning type tech attacker is raikou because just a mirage he's a mirage gate away of just pummeling somebody or a raihan attachment away from pummeling a lugia that's really good we have a rangaroo to uh cycle through our hand and deck which is really good because you, you can have a battle vip pass after turn two in your hand because you drew into it well you can primate wisdom and then you can comfy that away so it can help you keep your good cards away from being uh cycled or lost zoned and you can put the bad ones in or you can just put a energy on back into your deck and then use mirage gate with something like a rangaroo which is really nice we also have manaphy because bench barriers we have very squishy pokemon that can just get sniped and that's not good and then radiant greninja as well this is your draw card like draw supporter pokemon but he also can double up as moonlight with moonlight shuriken to take out two comfies on your opponent's side or just do 90 damage to set up for big knockouts with sableye so mirage gate or not mirage gate well yeah mirage gate to uh radiant greninja and moonlight shuriken super good and you just discard two energy cards super nice now onto the items. We have four battle VIP pass. This is great turn one, obviously, because you get to put two Pokemon onto your bench. Uh, if you open double VIP pass, you're probably winning. Like, that's just how it is. We have one energy recycler because we do have Pokemon that discard energy and we play a lot of them, 12 to be exact, 11 basic. And you can shuffle five of them back into your deck and then keep your Mirage Gates live. That's really good. Two escape ropes. We need switching options and escape rope is good because your opponent has to switch. We have four Mirage Gates, we talked about that. Uh, it's kind of the enabler of all the big attacks you need. Super good. We got two Ordinary Rod. This is more recycling and recovery uh, cards. We play two of them so we can shuffle our Pokemon back. Like I said, they're very easy to be KO'd after you KO something. So shuffling them back in, it allows you to do Sableye twice or three times. Uh, it gets your comfies back if you need that. It gets your Raikou's back. It gets all your Pokemon. Plus energies for your Mirage Gate, which is super nice. Especially for it getting back two basics. You just do it once, and then you can just accelerate them with Mirage Gate. We have a Poke Gear. Just one. Just to find our Colruses. That's always good. We have four Quick Ball. Obviously, we play basic Pokemon. We need to play Quick Ball. Four Scoop Up Nets for more switching out with our comfies. Three switch carts because we do only play basics and it heals. So that's cool. Like, it helps out a lot. One boss's orders, of course, because gusting is good. Four Colrus, we talked about that. Three Raihan, which is really good because we're getting knocked out pretty much every turn. You can just Raihan an energy, Mirage Gate, and then go to town. We can use Air Balloon as well for free retreat on our comfies, which is nice. And then one capture energy, of course, to attach an energy and put a comfy on the bench. I say just a comfy, but I mean, you can put any of these Pokemon on the bench. It's just that comfy is probably what you're going to be digging for if you have a capture energy early game. And then, of course, two, 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 two fighting psychic grass and electric energy or lightning energy. And then three water energy because Radiant Greninja requires two of those other than that. Everything else can just have the other energy on it. So this deck is awesome. Super fun. Um, we're going to have some games for you guys today. I'm going to hopefully get a bunch of amazing bursts off because using amazing rare Pokemon is super cool. And I'm excited. I love, I love Rayquaza and I love this deck. So let's check it out. All right. Minq0402. Here we go. Got the sick worlds uh 2022 coin. That's all right. We got the we got the other one. So we get to start a uh, comfy. Hopefully this goes well. <laughs> Everything else is kind of boo boo. 
We need like another comfy, maybe a battle VIP pass. Oh, Reggie Alecki. Reggie. Heard of him? I have. I mean, we have things to like knock out these Reggies one by one. We just gotta do it first. Um, something I like to play in like my Giratina builds that's not in this list is like one Zigzagoon, just because it kind of helps. But like, there's a chance we're gonna get popped here. Let's see how hard he goes. I mean, we could set up for like multi knockouts too, but we're trading one prizers for one prizer, so not bad. Like the goal here is to probably get one or the first knockout. So if we can like rip a battle via D pass, that would be lovely. And uh, okay, Chorus's experiment helps out a lot. Let's see what we get off this. Uh, Rangaroo. I don't need that. I don't really want to give up two energy. Unfortunately, we can't deal with the stadium. So, do I really want the Radiant Greninja? Seems kind of bad, but hello, run it. I really want to find. Oh my God, they keep drawing a Mirage game. That sucks. But I think we're gonna be short, obviously. Probably. He wrote into something. Probably just Norlax. And then pass. I can't really afford to lose. Here. I probably could have put up a uh, primary wisdom, but I kind of need it. You know, I kind of, I mean, he could boss knock this out. I mean, he could knock this out with giant things, and then we can go nuts, right? It was like the best we got. <sighs> really don't want to lose this Snorlax, but I don't really have a choice. be my dude to like take the knockout with boss back and get rid of the path. I'll just play a path and draw a card. That's fine, I guess. It looks like they're struggling too. I do have the switch card, so like putting the energy on this comfy was okay. Because uh, I can just retreat out into cram and smack something. Oh, no, they got research. They're chilling. <laughs> They're chilling. So we at least get to... Uh... We're going to lose this Snorlax, but at least we get to, like, do something. Now, what that something is, is I don't know, but... Unless they can't, if they can't smack me, I kind of need them to take this knockout though. Real talk. <laughs> real, real talk. I kind of need them to take this knockout. They get two energy in the discard. They got a quick, they need a steal and an ice, obviously. There's one Reggie Lucky. They're already down one ordinary rod. I'm sure they play like four though. Absolutely lovely. Okay, so we have Raihan. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, retreat, scoop up net, find a rope. 
for another scoop of that. Find it was in this. Or a comfy, that's nice. Absolutely lovely. Now we can gate, which is super good. Uh, I'll take a gate any day of the week. Now that we are in gate mode, go ahead and one, two. Now we can start taking knockout and get ahead here. We didn't even get to cram, but that's all right. That's pretty good. I thought that felt pretty good. At this point, I don't, I don't care. Well, I kind of, I mean, not really. Cause like, if they not, like, if they knock out anything, I have a Raihan in the back, right? So they keep discarding everything, and they're playing bad right now. Like, what does this guy even do? Oh, just smacks the bench. I mean, they could set up for some knockouts. I need to find a man if he do. Um, but we gotta do what we gotta do out here. Great. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> uh, primate wisdom, ordinary rod. running out of juice if I do this I gotta use two gates here and I really don't want to I could just do this so we got an ordinary rod shuffle two basic energies because I need, need these back and then I can go one two messed up <laughs> fighting energy here or like here oh, I'm running out of steam though so now I'm out how many gates all of my gates all of my gates and all I have is Raihan I need him to take a knockout <laughs> I need that to happen Quit playing with me. I need a knockout. So we could set up. We could set up a. Uh, already up two prizes. I guess like at this point I can start swinging with Cram and start like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven. I could just start swinging with Cram and, or Cram, not Cram, shout out Michael Cram a lot. And uh, finally, we're finally going to get some action here. <laughs>
I mean, he's available for a knockout anyway. I might have done this backwards. Try on. I don't have five dollars. Okay, so just tap this here. Do we go for the easy like? Where do we go grab? <laughs> I should have just promoted him to take a knockout. But I kind of needed an extra. What do we have more of? We have more switching out. Okay. And time. We have more time. So we grab that and then we go put this back. Dang. <laughs> Is he going to boss up my. Uh, is he gonna just take the comfy? But I mean with this with this in mind, right, I can set up another another red plaza. So I can set up another Rayquaza. So like with this in mind, we could set up like another um, something. Oh, he's gonna do that. That sucks. I need a manatee. Okay, so let's promote the uh, the comfy. Try and find a scoop up net. Uh, flower select first. Good call. Pretty good. Go grab us a Rayquaza. I think. Let's set up multiple knockouts. We don't really have. Energy, uh, yeah. Everything is awkward. Oh, yeah. Right, I can totally just do this. Primate Wisdom. A Raihan back in deck. There's a boss. I don't really want a boss. A good boss, but I don't want to. And then I could put one of these here. Do I grab the mana fee? I think so. Or do I grab? Do I grab a scoop of that? I don't even have Sableye available to me. I have to go find it in the prizes. That sucks. Let's just grab mana fee. Fine. Probably did this wrong again, but okay. That's something.
I am running out of juice, man. This sucks. I probably shouldn't have put that ride on back. I should have held on to it. That's all right. We're learning. Okay. We're learning. out and try and find the sable eye or I am going to run out of juice. Fighting energy on it. Done. And then give me the fighting energy and the lightning energy. Both my lightning energies out. I need to find a psychic energy too. Psychic energy and my Sableye's prize. And I have three left. Two left. There's a psychic energy. So that's a start. But we don't have Sableye. And I don't have a Hisuian Heavy Ball. I don't think. I should, don't I? I have a Hisuian Heavy Ball. That'd be nasty. But I don't remember if I do or not. I've looked at so many deck lists today. But we're doing the best we can with what we got. All right. Maybe he flops a knockout. He starts Registeel, whatever. He doesn't flop a knockout. Um, I don't know how we're gonna get these last two prizes, to be honest with you. I don't know. Plus we're losing cram. I think we lose. I'm out of resources. Oh, he's building up two. Oh, okay. That's cool. Why didn't you just kill the Manaphy? Because you would have won. You killed the Manaphy. I think I lose. Yeah. Yeah, that's GG's. Honestly, I like. I'm. I ran out of steam. I can't. Everything was awkward for all the energies put up. Could I boss stall until I find? He's probably got scoop up net. That might be what we have to do. I could take a knockout with this, but he'll just respond. Oh! Do I do it? Oh, it seems bad. But I got nothing else. I mean... Just boss stall, see what happens. Go ahead and, uh... 
I might lose them. Attach energy and pray. Fleet foot. Oh, I can't fleet foot. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck! Does he got it? Can he can he scoop up net? Because if he scoop up nets, he wins. If not, we can at least at least hope we can top deck a lightning energy. Oh, we can't because they're not in the deck. <laughs> he wins. All right, that's fine. That was GG's.